Give us the, like, how did you actually become a Christian? Where did that all start? Um, because two young people being together and also getting a revelation is it, it is is a godsend in itself. So, like for mm-hmm. you, for yourself, where did where did that start for you? So, for me, to be honest, bro, like growing up, it was like I would have said I was a Christian. So, mm-hmm. if someone asked me, like, you know, what are you? I'm a Christian, but mm-hmm. I always believed like God was real. You know, I believed yeah. in in heaven and hell. I believed in those things, but I didn't know who he was. I didn't know anything. I didn't know what that meant. You know, I didn't know the weight that it held. So as you're growing up, as you're going through life, um, you know, you're just thinking like, you know, you're seeing the Ten Commandments is like, oh, mm. fall a bit short. You know, don't really know yeah. why or how, but I don't really understand. I didn't really understand. Didn't have any understanding. Um, but it got to a point where, I was on loan at Ado Den Haag in Holland. Yeah. And in that process, I was living with my cousin. So my cousin was someone that I looked up to. He always had the waves. He always looked <laughs> fresh, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, but he was a guy that had nothing what the world mm. can offer, but he had everything to me. Mm. He had everything. I was like, this guy is bro, this is the one I want to be. I want to be like him. And I remember um, he was someone that like lived with us in England as well for a while. Yeah. He always like, he always came over. He actually studied in England. So he was with us a lot. Yeah. So growing up, he was a big, um, someone that I looked up to, someone that yeah. I looked to. And when I went to Holland, um, he he lived with me and we had an amazing time together through a really tough time. Uh, for me in my football career as I wasn't playing yeah. um, but but having him around just made everything better you know he had the amazing smile on his face always and it would just radiate the whole room like he had this yeah, presence yeah, yeah. about him that would just radiate the whole room um, but through that process he got cancer and and it went really fast I remember going back to Swansea um, the loan mm. finished went back to Swansea um, and I went to my coach, I said, my cousin is, is you know, he's got cancer and they said he's not got long to live. He said, go and see him. And th- I thank God for, for my coach that time. I went to go and see him. And it was just, um, I remember just because I had that relationship with him that I, I always wanted him to smile, you know. So I was mm. always like, it was still like I wanted to make him smile through this process. Yeah, and yeah. I could see, I could see slowly, you know, he was going away, going away, mm. going away. And I went back to Swansea and... um and then I got a phone call to say, listen, you need to come and see him right now because mm. it's really going uh, faster than expected. Yeah. And I remember, I remember we went, um, we went to his home and it went really fast then. Um, mm. And I remember, so fast forward, we were in a room, mm. we were in his room and it was me, my wife, a couple of my cousins, my parents, and some close family members, his wife and child was there. Mm. And we were all in that room and we experienced his body being there, Mm. but he wasn't there. Mm. So as I'm seeing a body that's there and I'm not seeing him, Mm. I'm asking the question, looking around, well, where is he? (laughs) Yeah. Like, where's his spirit? Like, what? He's, mm. I see his body, but where is he? And f- I remember there was something in that room. There was an atmosphere in that room. I remember praying that people were praying there. And I was like, wow, well, what is here? And I, rem- and I asked my dad and he said, listen, when you're ready to see, you will see. Mm. And from that day, I started to seek. Yeah. I started to seek. And because my wife also experienced that, that yeah. as well, she started to seek in her mm. own way. And as I started to seek, you know, the word of God says, seek and you shall find. Yeah, I was finding, I was finding answers, finding what made sense. I was like, oh, whoa, okay, it's this. Oh, all right. You know, we're, we're a body, but there's a spirit inside of us. Yeah. Okay. So, because I never understood, I never understood. Mm. So I'm like, wow, so this is an experience. All right, so I'm in this realm, right? So this is, you know, so I started to really ask questions and that's when God started to really cultivate into my into yeah. my life and, and be in my life. Um, and 
to be honest, it were, he, he took me on a process since then, yeah, since yeah. that day was a, was a big encounter. So that's kind of what sparked everything. Yeah. Wow. That powerful, powerful story. And obviously God bless your cousin um, as well. Um, that's really, it's, it, that's crazy how people are put into your life sometimes for a specific reason. Like God knew that, you know, you two will be in the same family because I've got a purpose for that. And even when, um, even in something as as even something as deep that can cut deep as as such as cancer, even in that kind of atmosphere and that kind of situation, he's still in there with us. And and you could have easily saw this as an opportunity as you know what? Why would God take away this beautiful smile that that mm -hmm. I enjoy? Like why has He done that? But instead, it 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 made you think. And yeah, God works in such powerful, powerful That's ways. So and and it's yeah, it's just just hearing that story, I'm just thinking, yo, like one, don't take anything for granted. Don't take yeah, your nothing. family for granted. Do not. And then two, like he really can use any situation for for his good. And and yeah, man, thank you for sharing that because yo, that's 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 touched me right there, man. Wow. That's touched me right here, man. Honestly, that's that's an amazing story. And the fact that you got to sh you sure you shared that with your wife as well, and mm -hmm. just like there's a. There's, the way that God's just really had his hand over that situation is really beautiful. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, thank you for sharing that. And that was, what age yeah. was that as well? That was, that was like 21. 21. Okay. 21. Yeah. yeah 21, 22 around yeah. that age, mm. around that age, man. Yeah. Cause that's, that's the age where I think many people start to formulate their own kind of ideas of like, mm -hmm. okay, I'm, I'm either in this or I'm not, you know what I mean? Yes. I'm going to do this forever or I'm just gonna yes. go my own way, go my own way, and and yeah, that's a that's a very that's very key age. And because you was with your your family as well, was your was you so your entire family was Christian too? Or so yeah, my my parents my parents are Christians. Um, yeah. I wouldn't say that they are. Um, it's a, like growing up and stuff. It's not like we went to mm. church. They yeah, kind yeah. of left. They kind of left it. So it's your yeah relationship with god so they would always through experiences like this through experiences in life they would then give certain things scriptures certain word of encouragement certain things that i knew that god was in that so so that's kind of how i grew up i grew up in that where it was like i knew god was real but yeah i don't really understand i don't really get it you know, like, and and I and I did, and I felt a lot like, well, I'm nothing like my cousin who was, you know, living a certain way and and living to certain principles. Where I was like, how is that even possible? I'm way far from that. Like, mm -hmm. I don't understand. And to be honest, once I started to seek, who's the who's the person that I ask? The one that was living the way that I thought, and she is being the most. Her and her husband have been like the most um, impactful people in mm. my in my relationship in my walk with God. Mm. To be honest, and yeah. we meet every week now uh, for hey. fellowship, for fellowship, and and sharpen each other and open up the Word of God. And if there's any questions on my heart, they're the people that I um, yeah. trust um, to give me good counsel and and um, wisdom from the Word of God. Yeah, oh, amazing, amazing. Yeah. Um,